All right, I'm going to show you how to get into the tundra uh, without buying the door or <coughs> um, <coughs> or glitching through because um, I just tried to help someone but they ended up dying so this would honestly be more beneficial to have a video to watch than for me to help them <coughs> I'm not one life, which I I don't know if I can if I can get a uh, make a uh, family with 20 days and be a base class. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you have to be a super class unless they've changed it. So that's how you get into the tundra that way. There's the door right over there if you want to get back in that way. <clears throat> Just follow me. And... Uh, I'll bring you to the through the trainers through most of the trainers in the Uber or in the ultra area I mean the ultra trainers <clears throat> the um, the snap trainer is up here by the way you just need to climb that tower and there's also a fire pit in there the very in those windows really hate <clears throat> the process of getting warm <clears throat> all right <clears throat> I believe the ultra necro is in that direction. I'm not going over there because I haven't. You know what? Yeah, that's the Ultra Necro Trainer. So that's where the Ultra Necro is. I mean, if I'm doing all the Ultras, I might as well just do all the Ultras. I don't know if they're all in the tundra. I think they are. Um, the there's three at Castle Sanctuary that I won't be doing in this video because I brought you to Castle Sanctuary in the last video. <clears throat> there, all you have to do is look around in the castle and you'll find all of them. There's the sigil. Uh, Uber Sigil or er, Ultra Sigil Night Trainer. There's the Spy uh, Ultra. There's the Illusionist Ultra, and those are all in Castle Sanctuary. So you just have to look around in the castle until you find them. You can't, uh, as long as you don't leave the castle, you'll you won't uh, get lost or die or anything. So just stay in the castle and look for it. They'll all be in there. <clears throat> There are howlers down there, so they're down there somewhere. So don't fall. 
Okay. I honestly don't know what's in here. I've never looked in there. Um, one of the ultras is in Sunken, or two of them are in Sunken, I believe. Both the Dark Sigil and the, um, the Shinobi. And I might as well do a guide on that. If I get this character to 20 days and get a, uh, get his Lord title back, I'll do that immediately. I'll go in Sunken and try and get all the Ultra, um, the Ultras in Sunken and guide you through Sunken. Because this account, I don't worry, I don't care about risking his life. As long as I get the title back. So that would be nice, because there's not many good Sunken videos out there. Alright. I've actually never done Castle Rock before. I know how it's done. I don't know where to do it exactly. I know you have to get like a strange feather from the Yeti. And then you have to go to some statue... I think, and give it to the statue or whatever. There are howlers down there, by the way. And the um, Abyss Walker Ultra is in the uh, in the desert where you jump into the <coughs> Abyss. Don't do it, though, unless you're ready for it. Unless you have, like, max... <coughs> um, max great sword and uh, the quest completed. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Oni Trainer. That's the only Oni Armor. Um, forget how much it's worth. I think it's 100. Yeah, I think it's 100. You talk to him after you complete all the... Tr uh, that's the Oni Teacher. You have to be completely ready. You have to have killed the snake and everything in order to talk to him. Or he'll drop you. You'll break your leg and you'll get killed by Howlers. I believe Castle Rock is there. There's a castle over there. I don't know what it is, though. I've never really looked at it. There is the um, Abyss Walker uh, Super Quest. That's where he the quest for the Abyss Walker Super is. <coughs> so you take the quest from him. You take the torch from him as well. Um... Also, there's howlers down there, so be careful when you go in there. So when you go in to talk to the Greatsword or Abysswalker uh, person, you have to be uh, careful. and Or you have to be really quick, or you have to kill the um, howlers before you do it. But you, you, you go down there. You talk to them, get the quest done, and run out as fast as you can. The howlers will come. And there's not many ways to avoid it. But it's avoidable. It's definitely very sketchy. And I'm probably going to die to frostbite. I'm gonna get frostbite. Not gonna die to it, I hope. Alright, so here's the Yeti. Talk to him. I believe you get a strange feather from him, I don't know. Maybe you have to be like um, a super class or an ultra class or something. But you get the strange feather from him. <clears throat> and then from here, if you want to get Church Knight, you go into here, and you just go straight forward. 
you just go straight. I don't think there's any wrong turns. It's not a ultra class, but I might as well do it since I'm here. That's the that's the church night trainer. You talk to that little crystal thing at the end. <clears throat> Twenty days. All right, awesome. Okay, and there's one more I can do. I'll show you, I'll show you guys Mother Whisperer too. Um, not in this video, but eventually. <clears throat> All right, so for the faceless Ultra Trainer. You go this way. It's a different exit. And that's the faceless trainer. I believe there's howlers back there, but just go close to them, not too close. Just as close as you need to be to talk to them. And then you'll be good there. So that's the faceless trainer. Okay, and I'll just show you how to get back. And hopefully I don't die in the process. So since I don't have a torch and I took a almost I got all the way down to frostbite. I'm going to have to heat myself up a lot and burn myself. I don't know if you'll have to do this. You might if you're a church knight and you you get your armor, so that's going to be difficult. But it's still doable. You can still do all the climbs. It's just going to be slower. And you're going to have to literally heat yourself up a lot at this fire pit. Like, go into the fire like I'm doing right now. And then start running. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be sufficient. I remember I did do this as a church night, so you should be fine. Where's the old, uh, where's the deep night trainer actually? I don't... Deep night trainer. I honestly can't think of where the deep night trainer is. Deep night, deep night, deep. Uh, because I didn't say deep night, and I didn't tell you where the deep night trainer is. Um, well, let me see. It's the best walker quest down there again. <clears throat> if you really have to, I guess you can go into the abyss wa walker cave, which is right there. I mean dangerous but if you're really that cold you might have to do it I'm getting there so yeah if I didn't burn myself in that fire pit I don't think I would have made it oh I don't think I'm gonna make it oh my god okay and I made it somehow Alright, one second, and while I heat up, I'm going to look up real quick. I've never done the... I've never done the Deep Knight. I've never seen the Deep Knight trainer.
Oh god, I'm warm already. Alright, just hold up for me. Oh yeah, the um the dragon the dragon knight is in um sky sky castle. Forgot about that one. Oh, the two new ultras. I haven't I don't even know. Uh, I guess the bard ones in snail in. I think. And uh, the um. Oh yeah, and the uh, Ultra Druid is in Scroomville. But... The Deep Knight Trainer. Where the heck are you? Okay, I, I, it's not even here. Maybe it's just the Sanctum Spear still. I've never really looked at it. It, it might be the Sanctum Spear still. But you're going to have to kill another Church Knight in order to get Deep Knight. <clears throat> That's one of the uh, things you have to kill. A, another Church Knight in order to become a Deep Knight. Okay, yeah, it's a Sanctum Spear still. That's cool. Alright. So you just continue to talk to the Sanctum Spear. That hurt a lot. There's a cauldron there. Okay, I don't know what that is. Never been over there. <clears throat> I haven't been in a lot of sport, a lot of areas. I should probably explore them, but it's too risky for me at the moment, anyways. If I'm on my construct, I will when I get on that. 
Alright, so if you know where we are, we're at the tree. All you have to go is that way. I'll keep walking, but if you guys know, you don't have to watch anymore. You can just go do it on your own. But for now, if you don't know, if you still don't know how to get there, get back. I'll just do this. And yeah, the, the camera quality and uh, the lagginess of the video hopefully won't be an issue for very long. But for now, it's going to be like that. Uh, I think there's going to be, I can change some things in the settings right now, but I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. It's just, alright. <clears throat> won't be like that forever. I know the audio is pretty, da pretty bad. I'm not even using a headset or a mic, I'm just using the computer. Alright, so snap tower's up there, if you want to snap. Also, the dragon pit is in that direction, but I'll cover that in another video. Because I do want to get uh, to work on mine my my class right now so all right so that's the, the that's the tundra door so if you want to glitch through it or if you can you can do that but for now i'm going to go up here I believe, like I said in the last video, I believe you can log out like either here or here and you'll be out of the cold when you rejoin the game. But if you don't, then <clears throat> you gotta go fast. Like me right now. You dash into the side, grapple. Okay, I'm gonna have to log. I forgot I had frostbite. Alright, I'm rejoining. Forgot I had frostbite. That would have. I was literally a second from dying. If I didn't have frostbite, then whatever. But, so that's what you do you log, you rejoin. And. From what I can tell, I'm out of the cold. And I'm in Rail Woods now. Alright, so... And by the way, that's Scroomville right there. Alana's right here. You just climb up. You need climb to get in there, but there's Scroomville. And in there, you'll find, uh, you'll find the Druid Trainer. And I, I recommend you traveling through by um, by mountains because no one ever really does that or ganks people up here. It'll be a lot safer. So what I do is I <clears throat> climb around like up here. I just follow this path to get like to wherever I want to go. I can just climb the mountains. That's how I stay alive. But for now... Thanks for watching, and hopefully that guide helped you out.